Dear participants, welcome to the third news of MUNIL 2022. First of all, Isabel Mujaya, our public information officer, interviewed a participant of the Human Rights Council during the lobbying. Thomas Veronesi is a MUNIL participant from Italy. He presents Argentina in his committee. Isabel Mujaya will continue with the interview. What are you doing here? So, we are now uh, in what is called a lobbying. We are writing a resolution about one of the three uh, um, objectives of this uh, HRC. Uh, precisely, we are writing about the freedom of press and we are doing quite a good work here. Yeah. Do you think you can achieve your goals um, in the debate later on? Yeah, considering that our operative clothes are good operative clothes, they are by the middle ground operative clothes, they propose affordable objectives, I think all the delegates will agree with what we are proposing. Yeah. So you are looking forward to the debates? Yeah. We'll and do you think the other delegates will support your ideas or your resolution? Well, I hope so. I think that most of the delegates who represent democratic countries will, will share our opinions. But also, uh, delegates from less democratic countries will see that we have a point. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was Isabel Mujaya interviewing the delegate of Argentina in the Human Rights Council. Next, you can see some punishments. <laughs> Yesterday, the first debate started and in the Security Council a crisis took place. We interviewed the President of the Security Council to get informed about what the situation was like. Uh, what is the crisis about? Uh, so, in Security Council today we uh, had the crisis that the People's Republic of China um, is, was planning to uh, annex the island of Taiwan, or uh, also known as the Republic of China. So, uh, it's just been an ongoing conflict since uh, uh, the Chinese separation, so um, yeah, it's uh, also uh, quite also a possibility, maybe. What was the biggest discussion point until now? Um, until now, um, they uh, discussed on how to uh, secure Taiwan because um, new news is coming in uh, all the time, and until now, uh, it was possible to remain peaceful, but uh, this may uh, continue as there are uh, conflicts rising. What are the different opinions of the countries? So um, the um, country of the People's Republic of China obviously um, sees it as more uh, as as their right that they that Taiwan is just a uh, a province that uh, spliced off of the main uh, China. So they see their legitimization uh, in the history. Um, and on the other side, on the Taiwan side, is uh, basically more or less all the Western world, so USA, UK, um, and uh, they just really uh, want to protect the integrity of Taiwan. Did something happen already that's oppressive? Um, the um, countries of Russia and uh, China formed a military alliance, uh, this, which is a huge threat to um, well, uh, Taiwan as in general, since uh, those two um, uh, countries as a, a military alliance would be a very big threat to uh, Taiwan. Uh, what is your goal for the rest of the crisis? Uh, we hope we can uh, somehow find a peaceful um, uh, way out of this crisis, but it, it looks like um, it, there's going to be no way around a war. Uh, let's just hope it uh, goes out well. Uh, do you have an assumption what the conclusion of the crisis will look like? 
Uh, well, more, most likely since um, the uh, Russian Federation and uh, the People's Republic of China are now in an alliance, um, there is uh, little uh, one can do. So the um, island of Taiwan will most likely get annexed um, and then we'll uh, just hope that we can uh, save the civilians and uh, keep the country more or less uh, alive and happy. Thank you Ben Roof for your time. Thank you very much. The guest speaker Anna Schiller, one of the founding members of MUNIL, held a virtual speech because she lives in the United States. The second guest speech was held by Claudia Elbracht and Laura Rosenbusch from Amnesty International. Just a little reminder for you, you can scan the QR code and look at the SharePoint for all the photos that were taken and the magazines published by the head of press. You should also follow the Munal Instagram account and TikTok account to be updated all day.